Many people do not resist the devil, especially in the area of rejection. They see they've been hurt, they've been rejected, they've been wounded, and they live there. There's a different perspective. I put that out on a video today. We've got to have a different perspective. If we don't, the enemy will continue to muddy that lens of rejection until we have completely eliminated ourselves from all peace. Draw near to God. Cleanse your hands. What does that mean? Purify your hearts. What does that mean? Get rid of sin. Get rid of the sin in your heart, and it'll start to come off of your hands. You won't do it anymore. You won't speak it. Um, humble yourself. Again, don't you love how he sandwiched all that stuff in between? Humble yourself, humble yourself. Hello, humble yourself. It's kind of in the middle of humbling yourself. First, humble yourself to do all that. Now, humble yourself again. Because you don't raise up and go, well, look what all I did. And you're still not listening. Humble yourself again. Amen. So, because we are spirit being... In a human body with a soul, sometimes you got to be reminded of that. The enemy has a variety of ways that he can attack us. And that, therefore, we can be hindered from receiving our deliverance in our minds, where our thoughts and our feelings are, our heart where our feelings are, uh, in our bodies where we can experience real or false symptoms of sickness or pain. And, of course, in the spiritual realm, these are the enemy's tactics. And besides rejection hurting us so deeply, even to the point of causing much pain, because it affects the same area that your physical pain affects in the brain. Many times people who suffer from rejection build a barrier. And the Lord gave me this vision today. I've taught this umpteen times. But today he showed me this barrier that goes up when we are suffering under rejection. Uh, and we put a barrier up between us and somebody who has rejected us. Or us and somebody who may possibly reject us. Right? Right? And this barrier is often found in the form of pride. If you want to be humble and you have rejection issues, you are probably going to need to get healing because there's probably a pride protector there. So I want to, I'm not going to get all into that tonight, but it's a very good um, teaching because it helps you understand your behaviors if this is you, uh, such as how a person who is dealing with uh, a pride protector would be performance driven, always feeling they're not good enough, need to please. We have to even years down the line, you're still wrestling with the not good enough. Besides living in the society that makes it really clear that you're not good enough. It, uh, in your mind, when you line yourself up with that, it becomes a stronghold. And it becomes a stronghold of rejection, lies, fear, unbelief. I love that Macari said the fear left him. Because we had just dealt with that on Thursday. And I didn't know that he had, um, I didn't know that part of his testimony. So our minds and our heart, our feelings and emotions can be hindered with unforgiveness and bitterness because of rejection. We have a wrong belief structure, such as not believing that we have to forgive. Because we feel the person doesn't deserve forgiveness. Or that we'll let them off the hook to hurt us again. Sometimes forgiving somebody feels really vulnerable. Anybody? Yeah. It just feels like I'm burying my soul and I'm giving that person room to enter in and hurt me again. But that's not really what forgiveness is. You bear your soul to one, the one who can bear your soul. And you give it to him. And then you do what he says. So if he says, go tell that person you've forgiven them, go make that right or what, then you go by the directions of the Holy Spirit. But you don't go out of your own ability because if you try that, you'll fail and you'll come back into hurt and pain again. So um, false beliefs of what forgiveness is can hinder our freedom. So those are a couple of the false beliefs. The truth is forgiveness is, is just being obedient to God.